So we all know what a podcast is, but I think the question here is how do we create a podcast that delivers benefits to our business? In this episode, I'm going to go over business benefits to launching a podcast and what you should expect in return for investing your time and in some cases your money into launching a podcast. So first we have to think about our audience. I don't know if you listen to podcasts, but in my experience, many do nowadays. It's a growing form of media and the statistics are constantly showing us that. When I think about myself, I tend to listen to a podcast when I'm doing things like walking a dog, driving longer journeys or cooking a dinner, something like that. I used to listen to like a lot of news and a lot of radio and I still love my music, but but to be honest, I just find the news so depressing. And what a podcast gives me is the ability to make my dead time, I suppose we could say, in, into something more practical. The dead time being something like, you know, making a long car journey, walking a dog, something where I'm not doing anything. Listening to a podcast gives me the ability to learn something and get a different opinion on something that I do. I found some really amazing podcasts that have made an actual positive impact on my life, but I've also found some pretty shit ones that have just wasted a few minutes of my time before I turn over. So let's take a look at how we can use this growing form of media being podcasts to benefit your business. So why start a business podcast? The main reason is 2023 and we really do live in a digital age. I want you to think about the last time that you brought something in your personal life of significant value. And I don't mean items that you can just log on and buy from Amazon and have them delivered the next day. I mean something like a car, a house, some coaching, a new computer, a family holiday, something like that. The likelihood is, if you're anything like me, you'd have done your research. And a majority of this would have been online. You've read the bad reviews, you've visited the websites, you've checked the deals to see if they're good or not. We do it without even realising. We do it all the time. A podcast is really important for this reason. And I'll give you an example. I've just spent five and a half thousand pounds on a new business coach. I want to take my business to the next level. We've been going for about three years. The previous uh, the previous training I did was absolutely amazing and it got me from just an idea to five figures. But naturally I see the next step as becoming a six figure business or multiple six figure business. But I understand that to do that I need to invest in myself and in my business to make this happen. I chose my new business coach based on his message. So for me, I listened to his podcast, I followed him on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, LinkedIn, and I'm seeing what he's got to say all the time and what I can learn from him. And I feel like he's someone, the one that we went for is someone that I like and someone that I could work with. I found his YouTube and podcast really good because the longer form messaging meant I learned more. I listened to a number of his podcast episodes before I even thought about making contact with him. I'm always consuming that content and enjoying listening and learning. So I know for him, after speaking to him, that this media, the way he does it, is a bit of a release. It shows the value that he offers as a business coach. It's somewhere he can package up his two decades of experience in business and show me that he has the passion, but more importantly, the expertise to get me where I want to go. And I love listening because I always learn something. So for me, it was a much easier decision paying a significant sum of money, five and a half thousand pounds, because I know that I'll end up making far more than that once I've done learning, once I've implemented what he's teaching. So I've got the confidence to to buy from him with, you know, and understand that value. His podcast, though, is just one of the channels um, that he uses to get his forms of media out. If you can get people to listen to your message, then we can build trust. We can show value and build confidence with our target market. It's absolutely vital as people move down your sales funnel to build that confidence. Podcasting is an extremely powerful form of media, delivering a longer form message that really helps to build trust with huge benefits. But podcasting is also free. I've recently done a video on free podcast hosting, so if you want to know why, then go and check out my video on my YouTube channel. Although it's free though, there's still a huge time commitment to be made, which is why, for me, yet another advantage of podcasting is that it gives you the ability to generate huge sums of media, and let me tell you why. So let's take this podcast, for example... If you're listening on the podcast, I'm actually recording a YouTube video right now, but this will also be a podcast and I'll break it down into episodes in a huge amount of shorts to go out on TikTok, on YouTube, shorts, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram and the rest of them. This is what I actually do for a lot of my clients. The huge benefit here is, yeah, all right, I lose a little bit of my time making a video, recording a video, but from this, I, I get to achieve 
so much content. I'll make one long form video on YouTube, one podcast around 15 shorts from the video. And over the four platforms, that will be about 60 posts just from this one video. And in a few hours of filming, I'll fill my social media with valuable content. The shorts will be like fishing lines to draw people in. The long form, I want to deliver value and help you make the right choice to launch a podcast, but with a plan in mind. Also, another little benefit is that many people see you as an expert. Let's face it, if you've got enough enough knowledge to sit there talking passionately about it for, for, for a long time, then people will naturally think that you're an expert and that builds brand authority. So does my market listen to podcasts? Yeah, they do. Uh, podcasts are one of the fastest growing forms of media. And compared to the likes of social media, it's far less crowded. There's just under, at the moment, half a billion podcast listeners, and that's growing year on year by about 20%. It's still important, though, to take steps to get your podcast out to the right people. Some of our most successful clients have a focused on growing a following, not just promoting their podcasts. If I'm honest, my view is that podcasts should just be a part of your sort of marketing machine an important cog but still a part of a wider marketing campaign a great example of this i think is uh, one of my clients bill betts uh, he's a business coach and he works specifically with pet groomers he invites guests onto his podcast most, most weeks to discuss business related topics so you know as a classic example that i was a guest speaker on his podcast to talk about marketing bill's also got like a facebook group he has a youtube channel and he's got quite a big following He's building his personal brand and a podcast just forms part of that. He's able to move his target customers around his media, following a process that simply builds trust, showing his skills, helping people and in turn they understand that buying his course means that you get some of his time. And he uses that time to deliver the 18 years worth of business experience he's got as a groomer. Of course, not everyone in his in his following is an avid podcaster and that's why we recommend multiple platforms. So he has about 15,000 in his Facebook group and about 900 subscribers, 50,000 podcast downloads. But that is a classic example of why it's important to have a marketing machine and not just one platform because you'll be missing out so much. A lot of Bill's clients do, however, listen to his podcasts and Bill has noticed that when he goes to his sales meetings, if people talk about his podcast, then they generally will make the jump and book onto his training. The other thing I'd just like to say is that I've noticed within my own social groups, there's no statistics from this, that a lot of my friends who listen to podcasts are also professionals. I hope you found this helpful. I thoroughly recommend you consider starting a podcast with the benefits it has for your business. I'd recommend to think of your podcast and marketing as a way of showing your value. By delivering value to others, our marketing becomes so much more helpful, engageable, and it builds trust. Don't fall into the trap of just posting because you think it's what you need to do on social media. Posting pointless posts never works. It's just a waste of time. So build your following, concentrate on helping your target market. And if you want some more advice when it comes to starting a podcast, then like and subscribe to my channel and there'll be more coming out. Also, if you want me to cover something that you think would be helpful, then just message me on YouTube or on Facebook or wherever you're watching this and we'll see what we can do to create some videos for what you need. Thanks for watching. See you soon.